too. It's a cold day in Texas. We had a couple of pretty days. I didn't get a lot done, but we had pretty days, so that was kind of cool. But anyways, I thought I'd do a short video, show you a couple of things I've been working on here in the icebox. <laughs> Anyways, I do have some uh, stuff up on eBay if you want to go check that out. If you, um, I don't know, several customs right now. But there's a, I'll try to put a, I'll put a link in the, uh, the description if you want to go check and see what's on there. Put your bid, everything I got on there is up for bids. I'm deciding, I decided to try that this time. Never done a bidding auction anyways so let me turn this camera around and show you a couple of things I've been practicing on with the uh, the airbrush so started with this highway hauler 2 it's, it's a blue over this kind of like gold color but I taped these stripes this is what I've been practicing on is doing stripes by taping it off like they paint low riders that's kind of going to be something I'm experimenting with. This one, I don't have any wheels for it yet. Um, and I think I'm probably going to do a decal on the side here. Both sides, maybe some type of smooth criminal decal. I'll have to design it and figure it out. But um, it looks a lot better in, in, with a good camera and light. Like I said, the, the um, GoPro won't work on my laptop. But I did find this in a box, and I might be able to take the SD card out. I'll do some playing around with it and put it in here to see if that works. This was in a trunk that I found by a dumpster <laughs> a while back. Anyways, I'm going to test that out to see how that works. But I had to cut these little things out with tape or with a... Uh, what the, what's the word I'm looking for? Blades. I didn't use a knife. I just used the blades out of like a utility knife and made them to where it would cut two lines out. And then I tried to lay them out. They're pretty straight for my first time. I might have to get a vise maybe to like hold it still so I can do it easily with two hands. Not bad for my first try. And then this one was the other one I was working on at the same time. This one came out pretty cool. I used three, let's see, one, two, three, four different colors. You paint in layers. If you if you ever watched them paint a low rider, you tape some off, you paint, then you tape some more off, and you paint the next color. You have to start with the color you want on bottom. That, this was a, a car I'd done a while back, but the paint job messed up. But I'd already done this wheel swap and lowered it some. I wish I had more wheels like that. Those are nice. But um, it's got two straps on the side, then some two down the fenders. Can't get good lighting in here. And then on the top, I laid out a small pattern through there. Still need to work on like smoothing it out and getting a real thick. Uh, I want that that thick uh, clear coat look on there. But I mean that's several layers already with the airbrush of clear coat. So I don't know if I should do it with a rattle can because you can get it on there thicker, or just spend a whole day of clear coating. I don't know yet. But I still got to learn how to like when you're polishing up in between layers and stuff and these are just some regular paints that I've had they're about 10 years old so you can see here where it peeled up a little bit with the tape so I need to practice maybe doing some prep work to the casting before I airbrush and still practicing with the airbrush itself but I'm pleased for my first attempt I didn't get too creative on the, the design because I was practicing I'm like, well, let's learn how to lay the paint first before we start getting all intricate with the uh, <laughs> the patterns. But not too bad for two. And 
you can tell they're different. This was as the same blue, I think, but over a different base coat. So they they look a little different. This one looks a little darker. So still working on it, practicing. This takes a lot of work, even cutting the the tape out, and then taping it down, and then painting a layer, letting it dry, painting a layer, because it's slow drying in here, because it's still, even with the heaters drying, it's still pretty cold, so I think when it warms up and I have the good natural heat, the dry, it, it'll do do even better. I think I'm going to keep the, the, the paint booth in here, even during the summer, not even set up in the shop, and do all my cutting and stuff in the shop. And then this was something I picked up a while back. I was gonna, I'm going to rob the wheels off of it because I wanted these gold uh, bling wheels. But they're not the same shade of gold. So I think I'm going to do a wheel swap on this. And, and maybe practice with some of the taping. That would look kind of cool coming through. I don't know yet. But this is a uh, casting that's growing on me. I didn't care for it at first. But now I like it. So I might just leave this one. And try to come up with a few more. Because I like wagons anyway. So this is basically a, a sporty looking wagon. But um, this this casting is growing on me. So I'm going to try to get. There's not a whole lot of variations that I've seen so far. So I'm going to try to. Connect. Collect the, the variations. That's what's been going on. Been dealing with a lot of stuff too. So it's been slow going. But, um, you know, it's part of my life. I have to learn to live with it and just stay alive. <laughs> that's the best thing to do sometimes, just stay alive. So anyways, that's some um, couple things I've been working on. Like I said, I, I, I got some stuff up on eBay. If you want to go check that out. Um, that's pretty much it. Wanted to share the, the beginning of my lowrider painting. They do look a lot better in person. These Some of these cameras just don't do it justice. But for my first one, I'm pretty pleased with it. And this one, I, this one we'll see where it goes with the, a decal on the side and the wheels. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do. That one was practicing because it was a good, easy, flat surface. So I figured that'd be a good practice start. So anyways, yeah, let me know what you think. Give me some ideas if you have ideas about it. I've been watching stuff on YouTube on how they paint low riders. There's a couple of good um, how-tos on 1 24th scale and stuff, but nothing really like this on uh, 1 64th. It's so small, and the taping is so it's hard anyways. But it does make me think I might have to do one at the 124th scale of something, I come across a, a uh, model that I really like and do some crazy stuff as I get better at it. But I've got, I, these aren't even, these were a pearl couple, the silver and the gold were pearl paints. I already mixed, but I have some pearl pigments that could probably make some really cool colors, but there's, there's stuff I've had for a while that they're expensive, so I didn't want to waste a lot of it yet till I learn more about the airbrush and stuff and I've been watching some how-to stuff on that and learning a little bit on that and it's coming out all right anyways yeah let me know what you think um, check out eBay if you're interested in any of my customs and there's some a uh, couple other things on there that's not even Hot Wheels related but some stuff I thought I'd just put up there to see where it would go okay smooth criminal signing out be good or be good at it